Hello world! Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of Feed the Beast Insanity. So, my plan right now, I think, is to go up and get all of those uh, B packages. I know eventually I might be able to make an Ender Chest, though I do not have any way to figure out which patterns for the bees will be required. So I'm just going to go up and grab those packages. Now I don't think there's anything against that in any of the rules. So hopefully I'm not breaking any of the rules because that would be bad. And it looks like I'm going to need to destroy that platform since it is messing with some of the spawns. And maybe get some lights on the top anyways. Okay, I'll grab these ender pouches and the broken pack packs too and let's reread the rules to just make sure okay do not take or destroy any blocks from the spawn area do not take or destroy any blocks from the monument area in the event of death visit the extra life room upstairs for timed runs you're okay there's nothing against going back up to this area Okay, and I think I might have accidentally destroyed something there. Because I moved with the piston, which might have uh, unfortunately altered some of the logic. Anyways, let's go here. And we're just going to have to wait for daylight to appear. Actually, a good idea would be to make a chest to store all of our goods in. Let's make it a double. You know, super size me. Okay, let's get those two chests. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm not sure where I want to place these. Somewhere that I'll. You know, here. Why worry about it? Okay. And there are chests in there, and just to show what's in them bees. Zzz. Okay, see you at sunrise. Actually, what would be a good idea would be to make a bloody bed. Not a bloody bed because we don't have any dyes and I don't want to slip my wrists or anything like that. But a normal bed, you know, to pass away the wee hours of the morning. Yay! I don't want to go to bed, Jimmy. Too bad! Anyways, let's go back up to our burning zombie top. Check how the items are. You got quite a few. That's good. Let's try to... Dang, Enderman. Try to get a few more. Maybe we could make a few TNT to blast away the stuff that we're not using. But that's not any fun. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, double dear. Okay, I need to think about things. Um, yes. Let's make more wall. That would actually be a very good idea. Make it so that they cannot hit me. And get up. Now we're going to have to make a bit of a way to get up here. So a few extra ladders won't hurt. Unless there's a few baddies. And you're ex exploding. That's not nice. Okay, actually the first thing that we're going to need to do is let these explode. That helps, okay. And we're going to have to put that back. And now this is open for business. Now, slightly deactivated the mob farm by doing that, but this is the only way in which we'll be able to build anything whatsoever. So let's, uh, we have this down, we got a bunch of ladders, and that's going to be really annoying. So what we should do first is get a nice height about where we're going to have our next part. So that's a good height. We can put the water buckets to go on there. 
and pretty much the rest of this will be expanding the platform until it gets to the side etc etc and then it will be easily uh, updated as a better mob farm and stuff like that not sure how high we're gonna get it but I'm thinking this height will be good so well let's see do we have anything to talk about yes we do we're gonna need like let's do a few calculations we're going to need for our next step of our thing we're gonna have to make a quarry the quarry takes two diamond gears and that two diamond gears in essence that's eight diamonds plus four gold gears each of the gold gears let's not count the iron right now each of the gold gears will thus be ooh, we're too close each of the gold gears is four gold which is half a diamond so that's another two diamonds that brings us a grand total of 10 diamonds. Sorry, focusing. 10 diamonds, and then it's going to have to add the three from the pickaxe. So that's quite a few diamond. So that's a total of 13 diamonds that I'm going to have to get. Or around 12 stacks of bones which is quite a bit so let's count one two three four five six seven oops that's a little much uh... too little and there we go nice and blocked we have a channel for the water now let's just cover this up because it's going to need to be ready for nighttime and let's just expand it to the far reaches of the walls unfortunately we're not able to make any sort of farms at this moment because well we don't have anything to make farms with the only thing that we could do is a wheat farm though the problem is this they take a long time and you only get 24 EMC per wheat plus seeds which is 16 so Wheat farm, not an option, unfortunately. What can be an option, though, is a pumpkin farm. But the only way to get a pumpkin farm would be two ways. We need to get pumpkins either from industrial craft crops, which is a big, big, big hassle, i.e. impossible, or we can get them by having it as a reward. From what I remember, you get pumpkin seeds after finishing, what was it? The third reward? So that's going to be a while away. In fact, <laughs> we're not even done the second one, so we're going to have to probably do industrial craft stuff before we even get to that part. And let's just destroy this for simplicity's sake so we can easily build up the wall and not fall. Uh, sigh. Okay, so I'm just going to build this. I'll let you know if anything spectacular happens. And therefore, I'll see you in a second. You know, times like these make me really wish I had a mercurial, mercurial eye. Unfortunately, I don't get such a luxury. So, slowly working for the win. Uh, now I'm going to have to get a ladder to be able to get up. Actually, continuing the ladder might be a good way to do it. So, yay. Okay, in the nick of time, we've managed to get most of the stuff down. Just going to have to get the waterways, I think, would be a clever thing to get down first before before we close up shop so to speak so getting that done getting that we get these last ones hopefully we'll be good to go and then we won't have to worry about dying in the proverbial fire hmm that's done it'll be able to spawn 
Let's jump down, quite literally, get the ladders so we'll be able to come back another day. And oh no, we're going to have to get that too. Uh, let's see, uh, super. Let's get as much of this platform pretty much destroyed as we possibly can, because we don't need it. Uh, making sure to leave as much of it as we can to get back. We'll just get back in a second. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, ah, floating box. Woot. Wootness. Woot. Wootitude. We got Wootitude. Buys. Wootitude. Waha. Okay. Um, there we go. There we go. Uh, Ting that off. Get away. Jump down. Be merry. Don't lose all your items to death and destruction. And stuff should start eventually spawning in our little nice necessity of a chest. So, I'm guessing waiting is probably the only thing we can do. Are we on normal? Yes, we are. Now we can either wait for the mob party. Let's uh, actually probably go up and get some lights up there. Let them burn! Burn for it. But we should start seeing some mobs generally start flowing through the system. But what we should do is put a bunch of lights at the top so that currently mobs... Ooh. Yikes. Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of creepers. Yep, creepers. So, two options. One, we can either open that up so that we have some monsters coming from in here, which I don't think is a really good option. Or option two, light up the dang place so mobs don't spawn on top of our little platform. I'm going with option two. Endermen, if they need to, can get up here. I'm not sure. Can they pick up stone blocks? I'm pretty sure. There we go. Let's get down there now. Uh, blah, blah. You know what I wish Minecraft had? Elevators. Sure, I can make a piston elevator, but frankly, I have better things to use my resources for. And a frame elevator using an Omni Drive would probably be preferable anyways. I'm not at that stage as of now. But I think we're good as it stands right now. Now, the question is, how are we going to get all this gunpowder into awesomeness? What we sh will do is maybe make a project table will require four pieces of wood I think four pieces for the win four pieces of wood to get a chest and the siding not just the siding the siding so that we'll be able to get this here place it down uh, let's get as much sand as we possibly can in fact we didn't actually teach it sand nor dirt so teaching them those would be a nice little addition, honestly. Okay. Sand, dirt, good. Okay, now what will we do with this is throw it all into the project table and make some TNT. So nine pieces in TNT will pretty much be enough for one diamond. Now we should teach it diamonds because, you know, Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Though I'm not a girl, so I wouldn't really know what the heck you're talking about. One diamond. Tot. Now we're probably going to need some other things in there. Eventually, though, we're going to have to wait. Now let's check the list of what we're going to need. We're going to need a piston. That we can actually get right now. So we got one piston. Good. We're also going to need a block breaker, 
which will require three of these, another piston, and let's see, uh, block breaker, block breaker, what do you need? Block breaker, block breaker, how about these? Block breaker, block breaker, find me a match, swing, swing, oh no. Okay, I'm thinking recipe equals this. Okay, block breaker, done, and cross off. Now we're also going to need a dispenser, a deployer, dispenser, deployer, energy crystal, and a quarry. So the energy crystal is going to take a redstone, which I think we'll have eventually when we have all of this metered out. This will be enough for the redstone. You know, we could have a waterway bringing everything up to a centralized crack collection chest over here, but that's not nearly as fun. Hmm. Could do it. Not fun. Okay, going onwards, and probably would cause a lot of lag. Anyways, throw that in, throw that in. We're going to need to get as much of this as we possibly can. And I hate when that does that. Hmm. Okay, um... Redstone, please. Thank you. Oops. Oops. And let's make the energy crystal. So we got the energy crystal. We got also an enderman somewhere. Hello. Hello. I am Lizzie Lohan. And I want your pearls. Ooh, right in the ender pearls. That's gotta hurt. Ooh. Anyways, we're also going to need to get some string. And some bow material, because the deployer, I believe, requires, not the deployer, the dispenser requires one bow, one piece of redstone, and that. Okay. Honestly, in my vanilla career, I have never used a dispenser at all. I don't know. Maybe something to be proud of. Okay. Now, finally... What was that recipe? We're gonna need that. We're also going to need the piston to make our dispenser, which will be six more cobble cobbled together. Deployer. Got our deployer. Okay, let's get those out of the way so that we can have everything nice and organized. Throw these away because we don't need them. And now our issue is going to be we're going to have to craft that dang quarry. The quarry recipe will require seven gears. So checking our quarry, it requires seven gears. So we can probably make seven iron gears if it allows us. Let's see, getting our wood. Heck, let's make more than seven gears because we're going to need to eventually make gears in the future. So let's get seven of these. Seven wooden gears. Stone gears, rather. And I don't think we have enough for the iron gears. No, we do not. That's enough for six. So we got enough for six iron gears. And why don't you die? I wish you dead. Okay. It's going to take a long time to get all of this sorted out. What with everything being a uh, small change, if you can say that. So probably what we'll need to do eventually is our main EMC gathering will eventually be a milk farm. Though for the milk farm, we will need tubes. And the only way to make tubes would be that we'll need, we'll also need filters, so anyways we'll need the red, uh, let's see, bricks. We need clay for the bricks. That's a double brick slab. And what it's used for is obviously in blue electric, or just the alloy furnaces. But we will eventually make a pumpkin farm, which will be our main EMC gathering storage facility thingy yes I am a real poet deal with it 
Uh, that might be enough, actually. That might be enough. Yes, it's enough. And there we go. So we got our seven iron gears. Iron. Iron. Iron everywhere. Let's put it in that chest for now because we're going to need it. But what we will do, I think we'll, we'll make a nice farm. Or at least all the area required for a farm. So let's get it started. So the farm, farm mechanics. This will be fun because we're going to need to get a lot of dirt for one. You can probably just transmute the stuff we have right now, but I think a lot of dirt, a lot of stone, but above all we'll need water buckets. So can we transmute enough to get a water bucket? Yes, we can. So pretty much the mechanics of a farm is this. Crops grow a lot quicker when the soil is hi hydrated. The only way to have hydrated soil is to have a block of water within four blocks bounding box. See, there's the bounding box term again. It is everywhere. So this is going to be our central location for our farm. Now, of course, it will be green. So we will need green stuff. Not green, but it's a bit dirty. So four blocks bounding box. Four blocks bounding box. So right here, one, two, three, four away. So this, when it's tilled, will be hydrated. So we have to go out until it gets to that point. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four away. And then it will be enclosed like so. So we need to make the bounding box, and of course, it goes another four away. So there we go, in case like that. And we'll have to go all the way like this. Water falls so slowly in Minecraft. It's kind of sad, actually. Ah, oh water, oh water. What has it ever done to you, oh water? Shut up. It's been a long day. Okay. Getting torches because we'll need them. I believe they also need to be within nine blocks, or it has to have a light level of nine. The reason we'll also want a light level of nine is because at light level eight and lower, mobs and not the friendly type will start to spawn. So, speaking about friendly mobs, what we should do is have this all turn to grass for now. There we go. We got grass. We got grass. We got class. Three, four. Bounding box. And once we have this little pad down, let's calculate the light levels. Okay, here we are. Now, interesting fact, torches give a light level of 14 when placed. So, light levels, which as hmm, light levels de decrement by one, for every block that you go across, go past, and that's double for water. So if it goes through water, it loses two light levels, and etc. etc. Now we want this edge to be nine, but actually, what we'll eventually want is grass to go over there. Also, not grass, but. Ah, well, let's not focus about the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Damn it. Now I don't have a Dark Matter pickaxe. That sucks. And I have nothing in here whatsoever. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Now I'm going to have to actually make pickaxes, which are slow. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to slowly make up our matter again. So that kind of sucks, really. No pickaxe, no way to go back. We at least are able to get an axe, but that's not as fun. 
I guess what I can do is make a stone pickaxe. That's pretty much the only thing I can do at this moment. Maybe make a bit of that also. And covalence dust might be the only way to... Ugh. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Wait. At least I have all of my iron gears. I lost the rest of my wooden gears. Small consolation. Anyways, uh, sigh, sigh, sigh. And I don't have my Philosopher's Stone. It's going to be a long time before I am able to make that again because I need Glowstone to be able to do so. So I guess what I'm going to have to do for the time being, insert me crying here, I'm going to have to craft my own stuff through a crafting table. Uh, now, if I was a cheating pants, I could just NEI the stuff in, but it is my fault for not sh uh, changing the Dark Matter pickaxe to its original setting, so it's all my fault. Anyways, let's try to go back to what we were saying earlier. Sort, get you away, and where's my pickaxe? Oh, I forgot. I kind of need to create that, don't I? Sigh. Okay. Let's destroy those little fending pieces. And get back to what we were doing. Okay. So, light levels. Basically, 9 is what we'll want the map. Because, but these are at 4. Teen. So we need to count it. So say so we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So to be able to light that part over there, we need lights over there uh, to work. But, but what it's going to be eventually is we'll have a field going out there as well. So what we should do is think of it from here. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So every two blocks, we'll need a torch. Rest in peace, Dark Matter Pickaxe. You know, after thought time, I could have probably made a waterway to catch all of it or something like that. But that takes time and a mercurial, mercurial eye, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Now... I'm not sure how long it's going to take for any of my stuff to actually uh, get mobs in it. But what we can do is, well, stuff is falling, but it seems to be taking an awful long time for mobs to fall. Maybe I'm just taking, you know, thinking that it'll be nice and dandy and it'll be quick and everything, but that's not how it'll be. So what we should do is check inside to see if it's good. That's nice and dark. Hey, look, sand and death. Uh, I still can't believe I did that. How could I have done that? There we go. So I guess the only thing we'll be able to do is wait or expand our farm area. Expanding our farm area probably would be the best bet to do since we will need to get that done and time is a big issue. We are trying to go for as fast as humanly possible. Hey, fast as inhumanly possible would be fun as well. So let's get a bit more TNT, throw the rest of this stuff. What we would like, probably an alchemical chest would be a nice addition to our team. Though we don't have uh, the required materials, we need a diamond, and at this early stage, diamond's a no-no. Introducing no-no. No! Okay. Let's get a bit more dirt, because we'll need it. I need to dig up the dirt on people. And let's expand it. I think once would be good. Now, water bucket will also be good. So let's expand it this way, so that this will actually have to be dirt, so we'll have to dig away 
manually to turn it to dirt. Ha, ah, sigh. We'll have to turn it manually to dirt, but basically what it's going to be is that there will be water here and placed so that we'll be able to better, you know, contain everything. Ha, ah, sigh. Okay, let's get the dirt in and pretty much it's going to be two pads side by side. That's how I'm picturing it. So there's probably quite a bit of work that we need to do before we actually craft anything. So that will take time and it's probably best to do all of that off camera. Since I'm sure that seeing me just doing all of this farming is not exactly the most invigorating. Seeing me die on the other hand would be something that you probably would love to see over and over and over again. However, I do not think I will grace you with that pleasantry because frankly, you suck if you want that. I'm not gonna lie, you just suck. Well, I'm gonna finish this pad and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, there we go. We have two nice little pads in which we'll be able to enjoy ourselves and frolic through the fields. Frolic, frolic, frolic. Anyways, t checking our light levels. So we have 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. But then there will also be 9 here because of the torches there. Everything will grow nice and happily. Temporary torches I think will be lovely right here. It'll add a nice little balance to it. But eventually we'll expand it a bit more over there and maybe expand it a bit more over there and eventually continue on and expand it over there. Yes, I'll keep these as stone because if we're going to be harvesting, I don't want to have to jump over the water because that would be annoyance. Okay, check one more time how our little... Uh, EMC generation is going, going rather slowly. So I think now is a good wrapping up point. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Feed the Beast Insanity. If you like what you see, namely me dying, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.